We are back at Okanagan Spirits, and Pete, we're standing in front of some barrels here. Uh, these are going to be, well, this one's going to be sitting here for probably another uh, two or three years. Uh, tell us about the process of these. Yeah, this is a, a fun thing, sitting around watching your, your barrels age. It, it takes years. One of the projects we've been doing is making single malt barley whiskey. And in a month or so, we're going to launch our first five-year-old whiskey will be issued. The rest of these are barrels that are just sitting around for the next few years, aging very nicely. Um, you put the fine distilled whiskey in at about, let's say, 65% alcohol. And then over the years, there's kind of interaction with the, the oak and the provenance of the barrel. And it sort of refines itself. One of the dilemmas when you're aging in the barrels is you have to give up something called the angel share. And the theory being each year about two or three percent evaporates out and that's a loss. So that's gone to the angels for divine intervention in exchange for you giving up some of your precious whiskey. Something will happen. Hopefully you've got a really good interesting barrel that turns out. Right. A 60 to 70 percent of the final flavor of whiskeys is actually from the, the barrel aging process. So the selection of barrels and what you use is very critical. And we've got a combination of barrels here. These guys are actually Jack Daniels bourbon barrels. So we're starting to age our whiskey in an old bourbon barrel for a number of years. And then we'll switch over to American or European oak, a wine barrel, and try to put a bit of a wine finish onto it. So the best way to describe the whiskeys we're making here is not smoky, peaty Scottish whiskeys that'll fight you and win. Ours are very smooth, soft, hopefully with divine intervention, whiskeys with a bit of a sherry finish to them. And this barrel, it looks like, uh, is just about one year old, March 2012, whereas this barrel right here is uh, January 2010, so is this guy going to be coming out pretty soon? Well, this soon? one in theory is, is ready to go. It's a matter of opening them up, see where we're at, whether it's really what we want or how we're going to go.